This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store, Forest Irish Doubt, FreeBets.com. Delighted to be joined with uh, Fabio Wardley. Um, just, I suppose, about an hour, two hours after your fight um, with Fraser Clark. Um, bit, bit of sweet fight, for, bit, bit of sweet one for you out there. And obviously, didn't get the decision, but I suppose won the hearts of, of, of the crowd and, and I suppose everyone in the UK was tuning in. Um, just as a, your raw or immediate reaction, how do you how do you reflect on that fight there? Yeah, look, it was. Um it was there was pluses and minuses to take from that. Um, ultimately, the entertainment factor of, of the fight was massive. Um, the headliner show at the O2 is is a big thing. So, to make sure that's entertaining for the fans and make sure they they want to see it again or want to see me again is is definitely a big positive to take from that. How much do you feel like you proved out there of yourself that you know? I suppose going to going the going and doing the rounds as well, and, and and you know when you had an opponent in Fraser Clark who was who was giving it as best as he got, you, you proved that you could dig in and. Um, I suppose prove, prove your worth out there, really. Yeah, look, people always knew with me you, you, you were in a fight and you're going to get a war. Um, but to prove it over 12 rounds, first time going the distance like that, um, is, is a different thing or a different box to have to tick off along the way. So, yeah, it's, um, let's get that done. Well, considering, I suppose, the two 10-8 rounds um, with the knockdown and the point deduction as well, um, do you feel like you've done enough uh, for the fight? Yeah, look, I feel like I've done enough. Um, it wasn't as clear cut as I wanted it to be. Um, maybe that, that scorecard with the with the knockdown with the point deduction was a bit harsh on me, but it is what it is. Um, ultimately, it's the fight's in my hands, under my control, for me to for me to make clearer. So I should have done that. I suppose your reference is was one fifteen, one twelve to, to Fraser Clark, which is a bit confusing. Yeah, which with with all factored in, um, it leaves some questions. But I'm not here to harp on anyone's anyone's job or what the judges do. They they saw it however they saw it. Um, ultimately, I I should have got him out of there. Was there anything that surprised you about uh, Fraser Clark today? Um, yeah, look, when he obviously knocked down him, getting back up and, and still going again, he had, a, he had a better gas tank in there than I initially thought. Um, I really thought he'd drop off a lot quicker than he did, um, especially after taking a lot of punishment um, and going down and being rocked a few times and things. So, yeah, he, he proved he's got a lot of grit and heart. Result aside, when you look at it, and I know you're probably not looking at it like that, but when you look at the bigger picture to, to headline the O2 and have such a special occasion, do you feel like you'll look back in, you know, maybe at the end of your career or when the dust is all settled and, and you know, you realise what an incredible night you were a part of tonight? Yeah, of course. Look, I, that bit... <coughs> That bit is never going to go missing. Um, I'm never going to forget a, a night like this, an event like this, this week as a whole. Um, so, like I say, there's a lot to be proud of. Um, there's there's a lot of I, I can look back on and go, yeah, you know what, I've I've done all right here. I've done all right, and not not fresh into this boxing game. I've been here a little while now, but obviously still lacking in quite a bit of experience and just finding my way. And I'm I'm proud of where I've got to so far. Is the rematch the next viable option for yourself? A bit of unfinished business to settle? Yeah, look, it's one off. Um, ultimately, I'm still undefeated. Still got my belts. So I'm still in the driving seat in that sense. Um, I know I said I wanted to move on to international fights after this. So they're still an option. Um, but also, the Fraser fight is probably one people will ask for. So look, we'll, we'll take five minutes, sit down, and, and have a look. Just a final one for myself. Um, to head, as I said, talking about headlining the O2, but to see Ipswich come out in numbers tonight, um, I suppose Fraser, you know, just referencing him saying, sort of, you want big outside of Ipswich, but I suppose you proved that wrong tonight in the O2. Yeah, yeah, I think um, I think the the turnout tonight proved that wrong, um, and especially after after the fight itself, I probably gained a few more fans along the way. Fabio, I just want to say thank you for taking time to speak to me. Um, I suppose on a personal level, thank you for contributing to probably one of the best heavyweight fights in British um, for a British title fight I've ever seen. So uh, I appreciate it and uh, thank you for taking time to speak to me, mate. Appreciate it. Cheers, mate. Top thank man. You. Thank you. Cheers, mate.